announcements very shortly. May we please invite you to take your seats at this juncture and to have all mobile phones and beeping devices remain turned to silent mode, please. We begin with our next item on the agenda, special addresses that happens in two minutes' time. Thank you very much. Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We hope you've enjoyed the break and our first part for the convention. We commence with the convention with special addresses. In this session, we're honored to have with us Dr. Parak Khanna, Senior Research Fellow, New America Foundation, United States of America, and Mr. Tarun Das, former Chief Mentor, Confederation of India Industry, India. Moderating the session is Dr. Iftikhar Ahmad Chowdhury, Senior Research Fellow, Institute of South Asian Studies, Singapore, and former Foreign Advisor for the Foreign Ministry of Bangladesh. We'd like to take the opportunity to invite our distinguished panel to please take the stage, please. Join me, giving them a big one welcome, please. Thank you very much for Dr. Khanna, Mr. Tarundas, and Dr. Chowdhury. Before I hand the stage over to Dr. Chaudhry, uh, Your Excellencies, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, we have allocated time for Q&A segment, which simply means question and answer. We have roving microphones to help you facilitate to pose that question. Saying that, I guess my panel on the stage is ready, and it gives me great pleasure to uh, hand the stage over to our moderator, Dr. Chaudhry, if you will, please. Uh, thank you, thank you. Uh, it's my very pleasant uh, task to announce the commencement of the session on special addresses uh, at the convention, to which I bid you a very warm welcome. Uh, we have this, for this occasion two very renowned thought leaders of South Asian origin, Dr. Parag Khanna and Mr. Tarun Das. Uh, both have made enormous contributions to the shaping of contemporary minds. Now, each will have 20 minutes, followed by a Q&A session of uh, the same duration. First to go would be uh, the leading geostrategist, ardent advocate of mega diplomacy, world traveler and author, all rolled into a formidable Parag Khanna. Uh, he's a renaissance man of our times, uh, a, a person of varied talents, he has climbed uh, great heights uh, intellectually by wielding a powerful pen and literally by climbing mountains. Uh, he has a PhD from LSE and MA from Georgetown. He has been named one of Esquire's 75 most influential people of the 21st century. His ideas have found fruition in uh, uh, powerful contributions to the global governance debate through books like The Second World, uh, and uh, also 
how to run the world. Normally, we'd have liked to hear from him how to do it. But today, today he will be focused on uh, specifically the topic of diasporas and geopolitics. Could I request you to proceed to the lectern, Dr. Khanna? Good morning. Thank you, Dr. Chaudhry, for that kind introduction. It's a pleasure to be here, distinguished guests. I became fascinated with South Asia long after I left it. I was born in India, but I grew up in Abu Dhabi, in Dubai, in New York City, and in Germany. In the US, I witnessed my very uh, Jewish middle class neighborhood become populated ever more with uh, middle and upper class Indian families. Indians proliferated all around me. Indians, in a way, became, became called the new Jews. India was becoming sexy to Americans, and therefore also to me. Suddenly, I wasn't just an Indian American demographically, but also emotionally. When I entered the university, I started doing Bhangra dancing with the South Asian club. By the time of my senior year, I was the MC of our large Rangila cultural festival. So suddenly, I realized that even though I hadn't visited India often enough in my youth, I don't know if I would have been become as fascinated with my South Asian heritage had India not followed me to America. In 2006, five years ago, I had the privilege of being a visiting fellow here at the Lee Kuan Yew School of Public Policy. And that's where I encountered the great encyclopedia of the South Asian diaspora produced by ISAS. For those who haven't seen it, this is more than just a robust coffee table book. This is an exhaustive compendium on the migration patterns, cultural legacies, and far-reaching accomplishments of the South Asian diaspora. But only recently have non-academics begun to take diaspora seriously. Suddenly, there's a new appreciation for what is an ancient and obvious fact, and that is that migration is literally the face of globalization. Migrants today make up ever more a, gro a growing percentage of the multinational, multi-ethnic societies around the world, particularly the US, Canada, Great Britain, Australia, and others. In these societies, they're not just vigorous economic engines, but increasingly politically influential as well. Just take the issue of remittances, showing how migrants remain a major force economically, even when they're not at home. At over $500 billion a year, remittances dwarf the official volume of overseas government assistance that's pledged every year. Lebanon, Philippines, Cuba, Mexico, those are just some of the countries where remittances comprise a substantial share of GDP. And from Haiti to Iraq to Latvia, diaspora figures increasingly take on leading political roles. So increasingly, academics and non-academics alike, we agree that we live in an age of geopolitical transition. But rather than military power alone driving our rapid shift towards a multipolar world, it's economics, technology, and above all, people. 